I think Frog Detective is a really short game. So this game was referenced in Chicory. There was like Frog Detective was in that game. And it's just like a little silly, like cute detective game. I don't really know much about it. I've seen like a couple clips from it. And I've seen the, the like store page and that's about it. But I think it looks fun. It looks like it'll be fun to play. What the heck? <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> Jeez, um, can I capture this? This is funny. Look at the graphics quality options. Oh, you can't see them. Okay, so that one's, so this one is apple bottom jeans. That's the lowest quality. Next quality is boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor. She hit the floor. Next thing you know. Those are the quality options. Amazing. Okay, I need to change the game. I can try and use the Windows audio slider. Which is also covered up by the full screen game, so I need to open the control panel. So this is Frog Detective. Uh, this is a cute, silly little game that I thought would look, <laughs> I thought looked fun to uh, try out. And I guess we'll see what I'm in for here. We can see two beautiful characters on the main screen already. <laughs> Good loading screen. What is this? Where is there like fish? Wait, is this underwater? Are those my my underwater friends? I'm just wearing like clothes underwater. Magnifying glass, ring ring. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi supervisor. in your picture. Pizza shop? Who's that like, there's just a person made out of like cones and like shapes. Those aren't like animals. What what are those things? Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good I reckon. How are things with you? You and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Indonesia. Ah, well, Salamat Dutang Kimbali. That means welcome back, I think. This is still too loud. Cool cursor. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. 
Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. It's a little slack who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. It's a ghost scientist. I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? I can't find anything. Been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. I need help. I want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. Yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. Basics are... It's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. It tells a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Incredible dialogue. Is this, is this my house? I don't even have a bed. I have a table with a phone. A picture on the wall and another smaller table for my magnifying glass. Ah yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Now I can right click to see things up close. Got your magnifying glass. Observe the picture up close. This doesn't help much, does it? I can just put like a Photoshop filter on myself. That's a crab, my best friend. Wait, what did that say? I clicked off to like get rid of the volume bar. Grace Bruxner presents... A Frog Detective Adventure. Time to solve a mystery. Expanse of sea and singular island. Starring the detective Martin, Larry, Mo the Mouse Mouse, Bernie, Fresh X, and the rest. Why are there real animals? Case one The Haunted Island. Maybe a man in a suit. <laughs> what? Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, I had to move. MM. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Well, it's very kind of you. You figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown. I couldn't believe it. 
thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49 I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. <laughs> of course I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49 Please. Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, oh, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. Very interesting, I'll investigate. Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. It's not Larry the lobster. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. Check it out, thanks. I think I'll come back after... later after some investigation. See you around. I basically have the Animal Crossing fisheye filter at all times. By me. Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts, like in Scobby Doo. Notes. Some hole. Noises? Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Magnet. This might come in handy. The magnet. Oh, I see Larry over there. Noodle. <laughs> hey. How's it hanging? Fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't say it. I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. <laughs> Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Your wool. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. Usually getting cut once a week. It's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. There's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Surely that's not true. Uh, maybe not. It feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. <laughs> what is this conversation? My jumper is made out of wool. Are you for real? Yeah, that's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool's pretty gross, that's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool's gross at all. Okay, but what if I were, were coat made of your slime? What? Ew, gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway, and I'm saying that's someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm having to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please, but you'll need something to clean it up with, like a broom, or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. <coughs> Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? This hole. Can you tell me about this hole? 
I hate this hole. Why? Never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghosts coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. What? <laughs> I wish I could hang out there. What? Ghost holes? Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey. Maybe. Maybe not. Science line, don't go in. Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. What? Well, nothing happens. Nothing happened when I was in the hole. It's just floating out there. Is that Penny? Yum. But it's not mine. Too bad, take it. Eat the noodles. Hello. It's the small enemy spider. Is this even a spider? Like, it looks weird. What is this thing? Spiders don't have six legs. It's some weird bug. There's so many characters, oh my goodness. Oh? Didn't we need a broom? There's a stick bug. Oh, a broom. Okay, I can get the wool now. Stick bug. Is there something with these bugs that I'm supposed to be doing? Cool bed that's just here. I'm just gonna sleep. It's always gonna take a rest. Snake! Everyone's so happy. Look how happy the snake is. Can I, like, use an item? How do I use item? Okay, it just gives me the option to use it. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your will? It's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean like, take all the will you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Phew. That was a close one. I almost had to knock myself out. Someone told me to talk to Larry. Hi, it's me, Larry. Help, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard, I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you- Oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I- are you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, ask me them. 
Questions, I mean. Can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I'm not the one making them. Yet. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in, in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they mean I am a li really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I've looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste? Whoa! A chunk of gold and some pasta. This is how you make an explosion? Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. <laughs> yes. You want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. We're on the right track, but we still need toothpaste. Uh, gold. Pasta. Get those things we can get cooking. Can I steal the pasta? Give me your pasta. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest, I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing just said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? Only that... One that only smart people could figure out, like me. Still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no, you're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. About this hole. I don't understand the, the what are these holes? Noises coming from holes? Like <laughs> What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> but it does seem like the noises are coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. You seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information, thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Oh wait, see, there was a this secret agent. There was more dialogue. Where do you want to be a secret agent? Why? Ah, uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, I've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I'd want more. Interesting. Am I gonna give up my magnifying glass for pasta? Why don't you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows that the magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine, you're not a secret agent, whatever. What else do you want to know? I'm gonna steal your pasta now. Yum. But it's not mine. Come on, just take it. Take the pasta. Starfish. I 
anyone have toothpaste? Why is, why is there just these weird things everywhere? There's not much places I can really go. I can just like talk to people. Is that toothpaste? Howdy. Hello. Are you the uh... Yep. Great. You brought my toothpaste shipment? Uh, uh, no. I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions, is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. Your smile. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? My day off. I'm working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. What about the smile? I hope you don't mind me saying but you have beautiful teeth. It's a dating sim. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smiles 101, tooth whitening cool paste for teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smiles 101, tooth whitening cool paste for teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. You have, like, two teeth. Down to my last two. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... do you have teeth? Um... Well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Keep your teeth fresh? Tyler, thanks for the four. Oleander, thanks for the nine. And Pug, Pug and Lopter, thanks for the subs. Okay, where am I gonna get any of this stuff? You just have a shell? Koala. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. There's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why is that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. Guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. Oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast, too. Nice. Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. Even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? I have it. Brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true, thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. What is this shell even for? That's not in the recipe. The ghost. 
can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. It freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe two weeks. Whoa, are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. I'm pretty sure that's not good to be in water for two weeks. That's Martin, right? Is there anywhere else I can go? There's not a whole lot of places I can go. What? Hello? There was something there. Who the heck is that? There's a weird human person. It's Charlie Brown. It's also a lizard. Okay, let's talk to Martin first. Why do you have a crown? Wah, who are you? I didn't mean to start at you. I'm the frog detective. You're from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, the king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought I was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. <coughs> no, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. Might I ask a few questions? Oh jeez. Mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Mentioned your friend Finley, who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. Last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete, but with this whole spooky situation going on. Got questions for me? Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? The book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide. Foolproof ways to detect a spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this. I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Yep. seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? Just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. Sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave more like. What? That made more sense in my head. Because I mean like we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. Best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. 
You just need a really tiny hat in between the eyes. Yeah. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it real hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What? What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. But we are. You can feel a cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It's a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. Ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just be in the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. <laughs> it just like, broke off a chunk. Oh, it's gold. That's actually gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. How'd you get that much gold, though? <laughs> it's pure gold. Tell him I have to drink a lot of water for this game. right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. You can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. You're still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I'm protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak, magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure. It's a cave. It just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. Literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. I do. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fair enough. Ask me questions. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha. You fool. Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? 
Hmm. Big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Incredible. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. So I got a better magnifying glass. Is this better? I don't see the tiny shells. <laughs> There's no tiny shells. You liar. Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I've just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I'm embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. The conversation isn't over. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> Wait, why is this... Why is this, like... Relatable. I have to be careful. Oh. Was it okay if I asked some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that, I don't know. Sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine, you formed me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog. So I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouthwash, mousewash mouthwash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Is that the mousewash mouthwash? It's in that bottle next to you. It's my mousewash mouthwash. Happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it, thanks. This is some very, uh, intense detective work here. What kind of dance moves do you like? Dance styles. Whoops, did I press it too far? God damn it. So, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and, um, dance styles and jazz? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but, like, uh, if you saw someone dancing, 
In what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like best? Oh, hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. I saw someone breakdancing. Wow, I would swoon. <laughs> I would even go so far as to say, if I saw someone breakdance, I'd be so deeply impressed. That would I, I would want to hang out with them at all times, forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. It's okay, I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Got a monkey fact. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's in my clues. Monkey fact. Hey, I talked to a mystery monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Did Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Phew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. Gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouse wash, mouth wash. It's not really break dancing. Oh, oh, you'll get there. So I all I need is the pasta now, right? How do I get the pasta? Not mine. Steal it! So I can make explosives. Magnifying glass. Oh, you wanted a magnifying glass. I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Oh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. There's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy. It's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. It's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. The way you say pasta is Canadian. What? what what's the other way you say pasta? Pasta. Pasta. That doesn't sound like- it sounds like... weird. That's British. Pasta. Want some pasta? Mouthwash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, d -tech. All right, we can make a bomb now. It's all been coming down to this. It's time for bomb. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything? Yep. Amazing. Should I make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. 
Nice, I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. It's all coming together. Well, this is it. Yep. I'm trying to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. <laughs> I just tossed it. <laughs> oh shit. Where am I going? Oh. So it turns out I don't know how to climb ladders. Ghost? Uh huh, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. Pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. Is this is this what the noises are? Have been this whole time? This is the big solution. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Geez, like two weeks, I guess. I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> Wait. Two weeks. Have you seen any ghosts around? Haha, <laughs> nah. So, like, you're just dancing for two weeks straight in a cave? That makes sense. Just like the person who was on a floaty for two weeks. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. It never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. Reads all those ghost books and think there's, thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight. Uh, yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. These mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. <laughs> mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. Sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Oh, really? Haha. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Ha. Huh. Then I'd actually be a ghost. 
I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. This has been such a masterpiece of a game. Finley. Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... what? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But, for my ghost books, I was so sure it was a ghost. Nope, just me. Just goes to show, you should never trust books. That's the moral of the story. Always use the internet instead. Uh, yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. <laughs> Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. Hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. This is the dev... While I agree with the, de the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of an author's sources, and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, so make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. <laughs> sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So just to be clear, you're practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep, I'm in it to win it. Still not entirely sure what the stamp competition, dance competition involves. Dance competition. Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrants. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry. Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So, shall we boogie? Let's go! <laughs> Game of the year! Game of the century. You can't beat, you can, there's no game ever made that's been better than this game. Did you know there's two sequels to this game chat? There's Frog Detective 2 and 3. I didn't, I didn't buy them yet though. Is that, something, should I play the other two? What do you think chat? Not today, because I'll have to like buy them and install them. But some other day. OK, 
Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. <laughs> Am I picking the, the winner? Well, Finley danced for two weeks straight in a cave. Mo the Mouse wants to win over the love of Monkey. Bear, Bear, Bernie is just driving a car. You're tall. What the frick? You're very tall. Oh, Larry. Yo, frog detective. That was kind of not the best dance, though. This is creepy? Why is this creepy? It's not a horror game. You're creeped out by everyone having fun? Alright chat, you get to pick. You get to pick chat. I want either Mouse or Finley, but I don't know. If I pick- see if we pick Mouse, Larry probably had the best dance, if we're being honest. But Mouse wants to win over the love of Monkey, and that's like, more interesting, right? We gotta make love happen. started practicing today. Yeah, and it, it just makes the success story even even greater. All right, I've rigged it. <laughs> it looks like Mouse is going to win. <laughs> Love wins. Let's go, Mo. I guess this is the only thing. You just see them with the, the trophy that you don't actually see anything else. So we could have really just picked anyone. Bye! Enjoy being stranded on the island with no food. There actually is ghosts, we just didn't find them. The ghosts are going to be you, because you're going to starve to death. <laughs> lost. <laughs> Just pop up the lost text. Wait. Aw, look at this. It's so cute. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. You may work on the Haunted Island Mystery. Thank you, I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. <laughs> yeah, it was very complicated. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. On every channel. Every channel. In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. 
There's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Officer Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another detective? Can you, can you handle another case detective? I can handle anything. The detective will return in... The Case of the Invisible Wizard. Is that the wizard right there? Next time on Frog Detective. More crime. More mystery. More dancing. Tune in next week. Okay, so that was... <laughs> that game was pretty short. <laughs> but it was fun. I'll get the other ones. <laughs> we'll play the other ones, why not? On some later stream. <laughs>